All right, keep going with the topic eight review. This is eight one. Uh, it says use the scale drawing to answer these questions. So this is a meeting room. Um, in the drawing, it has a width of one and a half inches and a length of four inches. But in real life, IRL, they say that every one inch is equal to three yards. Um, so they want the area of the meeting room in square yards. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, if every inch is three yards and this is four inches, then this direction would be 12 yards. And one and a half inches would be um, 4.5 yards, I think. I think so, 4.5 yards. Uh, 1.5 times 3. Yeah, so the area of the meeting room in yards is going to be 4.5 times 12. Um, and 4.5 times 12 is 54. So in real life, this meeting room is 54 square yards, which you can write like this. It's the yards that are squares, not the 54. Or you could say 54 square yards. Either way is fine. Um, the second question is a little confusing. John decides to do a different drawing for the exact same room. So the drawing is going to change the side, but the room isn't. And he wants, instead of the, um, the length of it being 4 yards, he wants the length of it to be 8 yards. So it's going to be larger. I'm sorry, eight inches. My bad. I N C H E S. Let's pretend that says inches. <laughs> um, so if that's going to be eight inches, if in this situation every inch was equal to three yards, three yards, three yards, three yards, three yards. Then, if, if he's changing the size to 8 inches, um, every 2 inches of it would be 3 yards. And another 2 inches is 3 yards. And another 2 inches is 3 yards. And another 2 inches is 3 yards. Because no matter what, the length of it needs to be 12 yards in real life. So an 8-inch drawing also needs to be 12 yards in real life. So um, what that means is if every 2 inches is 3 yards, then 1 inch is 1.5 yards. Is that the question they're asking? Yeah. So every 1 inch is equal to 1.5 yards. Okay.